Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at using some if some product and the ABS or absolute value function to sum up the absolute values of a list based on the criteria in another column. So let's see how that goes. Here we have our list of values and you can see some are positive some are negative and then we have our control list here which has zeros one two three or four and what we want to do is total up not this list but the absolute value of these uh, numbers in this list for any number where in this column it is greater than zero so if it's a one or two or three or a four I want to total up the absolute value of the numbers in this column. Okay, and we can actually do it with two slightly different functions: um, the sum function or the sum product function. Either one works uh, fine in this case, and we use the if function and the ABS or the absolute value function. Okay, absolute value. I'm sure most of you know uh, will return the absolute value of a number. Uh, basically the number without its sign. So the absolute value of a negative 5 is 5. The absolute value of, in this case, 6, or a negative 6, is 6. The absolute value of a regular 6 is 6. So it's just the number without the minus sign in front of it, or the number by itself. So that's what absolute value is. Okay. Now notice in these formulas that they have the curly brackets around them. That's because these were entered as array formulas, not standard formulas. So an array formula, you need to, instead of hitting enter, hit control, shift, and enter to treat these as an array. So let's kind of see what happens here. I'll kind of rebuild it. I'm going to rebuild it with some product here. So we're going to take equals some product and say if, and we'll say if this array here is greater than zero, then, and then we're going to take the absolute value of this list, and we're going to close off all our uh, open parentheses. Now again, if I hit enter, I get a value error. But if instead I hit Control Shift Enter, I get 34. So let's just test to make sure 34 is correct. I'm going to go ahead and do the absolute value of each one of these items in the column. Just double click, copy that down. And where do we have anything greater than a, a zero in this column? We have one here, here, here there, 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 and there. And we check down here at the bottom, the sum of those numbers is 34, so our formula is working correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and, and delete these. So let's kind of walk through this program or this uh, function here and, and, and see what exactly the uh, evaluate formula uh, option in Excel tells us is happening here. So the first step is that it's taking on the if statement this uh, E4 to E19 and it's going to define that array. Again, that's why it needs to be done as an array formula. So when it evaluates that array, it determines it to be the zeros, ones, twos, threes, and fours that are identified in column E. Now it's going to say, are those greater than zero? I click evaluate, you'll get trues and falses for those that are or are not greater than uh, zero. Next, it's going to say what's the absolute value of the items in column F. I click that and I get the absolute value, 5, 6, 5, 6, 1, 2, etc., all the numbers without the minus sign. Now it's going to take both those arrays and in, in this case, multiply them times each other. Where you have a false, you're going to end up with a zero. Where you have a true, it's the same as a one, it's going to give you that number. So when you click that, now you're going to get false six, false six, etc., right on through. And now the sum of those products between uh, those two arrays 
is going to give us a 34. And that's how we ended up with the 34. In this case, the sum function actually treats it the exact same way as sum product. And basically, you're taking the true or false of whether these numbers are greater than 0 or not and multiplying the, that, those results times the absolute value of these. And that then it's going to sum the result of that up to get our final number, which is 34. And there you have it. Hope it's useful to you. Hope you like it. Thanks for stopping by. If you'd like to see more, please go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.